Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we're bringing you another Varia strategy video, this time for the Shadow Assassin class. Now I'm gonna get right down into that. I do wanna mention, obviously production has slowed down a little bit. We are in our new house, so very thankful for that. As you can see though, things are not entirely organized. I'm in the middle of a little bit of a uh, project with getting the room set up um, with all these uh, comic books that I've got, I'm kind of sticking them to the wall uh, in, in a little method that we figured out. It's, it's gonna look pretty cool, but things are all kind of spread out. But I managed to clear off a small corner of the table to film this video this morning, so I wanna get this out to you uh, as soon as possible. I do wanna mention our sponsor, Board Game Co. This is a great website to buy, sell, and trade games. You can buy games from their great catalog of games they've got available over there. They are also willing to take games off your hands. If you're looking to trim down your collection a little bit, then they will buy games from you. And then they have a trade system where you can put your Board Game Geek username into their website if you want to. It will look at your trade list that you've built on Board Game Geek, uh, what you want in trade, what you have for trade. It will compare that to their stock of games and then build a trade list right there on the website for you to trade with them. It's a really cool system, very easy to use, has a great value system so you know ahead of time whether or not a trade's going to work. So be sure to go over there and check out Board Game Co. Uh, if you do check them out, click on the link in the description below so they know I sent you over there. Board Game Co. makes it easy to buy, sell, and trade your way into a better collection. All right, let's get down to the table and I'm gonna show you the Shadow Assassin class for Varia. The Shadow Assassin waits patiently, biding their time until their opponent slips up, at which point they either hit them hard and fast, or they poison them and begin to chip away with physical damage. The Shadow Assassin excels at avoiding being hit by dodging many attacks and also using disengage style blocks. The Shadow Assassin is capable of avoiding dangerous on-hit effects like Area's Tark if they were fighting another Shadow Assassin or high power attacks like the Volcanic Warriors who decapitate. As a reactive player, when the Shadow Assassin sees an opening, such as when the opponent has set up a less than optimal initial plan, the Shadow Assassin is capable of creating some very impressive high power single moments. However, for all the Shadow Assassin's shiftiness and ability to avoid damage, if an attack does get through and hits them, they are less than capable than most when it comes to reducing that damage. When stick and move is your style, getting caught by a heavy body blow will ruin your day. The Shadow Assassin has 11 blocking cards in the deck. Brace yourself is notable due to it having zero focus, but eight power. Swift Escape and Backflip both allow the Shadow Assassin to disengage. Backflip has four focus, while Swift Escape only has three. However, Swift Escape is fast. There's only one sublimate in the deck, but it's a solid four power, four focus block. Combat Reflexes is in the deck twice, but each one duplicates itself, creating two five focus blocks every time the Shadow Assassin plays it. Voidwalk is without a doubt the crown jewel of the Shadow Assassin's blocking cards. Its default focus is three, but can be boosted to a total of up to 10 focus, depending on what cards are in the discard pile. On the Shadow Assassin's turn, they should try leading with Subtle Strike and then combine it with Slice Em Up. This action is three power and three focus. Subtle Strike forces the Shadow Assassin's opponent to only play an opposing action using three power or less. However, Slice Em Up allows the player to add up to two additional power die to this moment, bringing the total to three plus four D6. If the Shadow Assassin ends up losing a significant amount of health, Try combining Transfusion Draga with Slice Em Up. This combination can be key to getting back into the fight. This can be a 2 plus 4 D6 attack that simultaneously heals the player while devastating the opponent. Serrated Venom applies one Hemotoxin to the opponent. Hemotoxin then causes the opponent to gain one stack of bleeding every time they suffer physical damage. 
Bleeding in turn causes the victim to lose one health point every moment for each stack of bleeding they have. Normally, the opponent would then lose one stack of bleeding, but hemotoxin prevents this from happening as well. The Shadow Assassin can lean even further into this strategy by combining the Bowie Knife with magical attacks like Phantom's Kiss so that it becomes a physical attack. The Shadow Assassin can use Skulk the Shadows to create a moment where the player is safe to sit back and just watch their enemy bleed out. They can use Way of the Blade to force the opponent to take damage in order to get another stack of bleeding on them. Whatever method the Shadow Assassin uses to get bleeding tokens attached to their opponent, once they get about three bleeding tokens added to their opponent, they will find the game will end quite quickly. Okay, there you go. That is the strategy video for the Shadow Assassin class for Varya. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please check out more upcoming Varya videos. This is, I believe, our fourth strategy video. We have three more classes to go. There's a really cool one coming up that I really am excited about. I mean, they're all cool, but there's one. The guy just looks really neat on the front cover. So excited to show him. To, it's uh, called the Sixth Blade. Uh, and this is a very, very cool class that is, uh, I think, going to be a lot of fun to go through. Until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline. Mm -hmm.